So I want to do the intro for my first guest who's going to be calling us very soon. Uh, Jolene Bunting is a counselor uh, and a politician from Ireland and was sanctioned recently. Did she steal? No. Did she beat someone up? No. Uh, did she shoot someone? Hell no. Uh, she was suspended because a cabal of far leftists who reported her for daring to raise her constituents' concerns regarding Islam and immigration, uh, both in and outside of the council chamber. Now, she was recently deplatformed by a certain albino social media person. Uh, Jolene uh, joins us very soon to give us an update. Because obviously it is of grave concern uh, to all of us that we're being deplatformed. Um, and that we're having our politics prescribed to us. Um, because I thought America was land of the free and home of the brave. And, and the second, sorry, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment is also very important. But the First Amendment, with regards to our right uh, to freedom of speech, um, was paramount. And the ideology that that should end um, at a keyboard... Um, is rather concerning to me, but we'll be talking about that a lot more with um, my first guest, Jolene Bunting, and also my second guest, um, Chet Martin. Good evening, Jolene. Morning, Welcome. Sunday. Hello. How are you? Welcome back to the show. I'm great. Good. Uh, well, I just kind of did a brief uh, synopsis of, of, of your uh, experiences. Um, with regards to the fact that you were attacked by a leftist cabal that tried to unseat you um, and stop you from doing your job uh, with regards to uh, being a counselor over there um, in Ireland. Now, it's a while since we spoke to you. On the last time you were on the show, you alluded to the fact that, that there was going to be some meeting as to uh, to decide as to whether you were going to be allowed to do your job basically yeah basically um a cabal of marxist and leftists had reported me to what's known as the local government ombudsman um, who basically investigates if there's been any breaches in the councillor code of conduct um he the, the commissioner thought that it was acceptable to actually suspend me while he investigates this, um, something wow. which has never happened in the whole history of politics in the UK. Um, this has never happened, so it was extremely, um, it, it was extremely uh, overwhelming for me because I really didn't understand why they were doing it. I, I, I did understand because I know that they simply want to silence me. Right. Um, so. They 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 had put the complaints in. The the commissioner had then suspended me in the interim while he done the investigation into these fourteen complaints which were made. I appealed the interim d decision to suspend me right. in the high court. Um, so so I believe that it is unlawful that they suspend me. Definitely. Now, um, that that hearing has gone ahead, um, and the judge dismissed twelve of the complaints, but upheld two, and upheld the commissioner's decision to suspend me. Um, I am going to appeal that legal decision, uh, and I'm going to ask another judge to look at it. Right. Um, because, because clearly we have no guarantees now whether the judges that are hearing our cases are leaving their politics at the door when they're making decisions that are supposed to be on the law, based upon the law and not on how they feel as, uh, as an individual uh, with political leanings. Am I right? Absolutely, Sam. And I think that, that we have, and I think there's, there's always been a history of having um, people with uh, lawmaker, law, law enforcers being too connected to the lawmakers. Right. And I think we, we need to be very careful. And that's why I, I am appealing um, the judge's decision and I, I wish for, the, for another judge to take a look at this uh, in the hope that 
they will leave their politics at the door. Absolutely. So I want to I want to just take a, a step back a little. Um, can you give me an example um, of of what some of these complaints were? that you were doing wrong, given the fact that you were kind of working on the basis of what your constituents were asking you to do and, and with regards to their concerns? Absolutely, Sandra. As I'm sure your listeners know, um, there has been a purge in the UK um, of Islamic extremists. Yep. And I simply wanted to highlight this. Um, and I... Uh, to the two complaints that were actually upheld by the judge um, were my association with Jada Franzen. Um, for, and, just, let me stop you one second. For people who don't know, do you want to just tell them who Jada Franzen is? Because she's probably not as well known internationally as she is in the UK. Yeah, Jada Franzen is the former leader of a, a, a group called Britain First. Right. And they are a patriotic political group. Um, and at the minute, she is having to fend off um, quite a lot of Marxist, leftist, fascists right. who simply do not want her point of view um, and don't believe that she has a right to her opinion. Right. Um, Thank you. So, so, so the judge upheld two decisions based on so, two things which Jada had said that I had endorsed um, by either being with her at the time or, um, or, or I, I had held the event and I had been asked how the speeches had gone um, at the event which Jada was speaking at, not myself, Sandra, and that, that needs to be, be really highlighted as well, um, is, is the fact that the judge could not hold um, anything that I had actually said. Right. Um, while there was 14 complaints, only two, and both both the complaints were, were not actually anything that I had said wrong. Um, so so that, that was an example of, of two of the complaints. Um, we also had a meme, a, a racist sectarian meme, it was called. It is basically, um, as we are going through Brexit, I... We've lost you. Hello. Hi, you're on hold. I don't. I don't know what happened. Sandra, I apologize. I don't know what happened there. No worries. Um, Feel free to carry on. Yeah. So, so as we're going through Brexit, I had indicated that it would be a good idea for Ireland to to leave the EU, and I had shared a meme of two frogs, um, and these frogs were seen as racist frogs. Um, wait, 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 frogs as in rivet, rivet, frogs can be racist now? Yeah, yeah, there's a wow. particular frog which, which seems to be, um... Oh, you mean the wide mouth frog um, that is associated with Q and, and all that kind of thing? Pepe, right. Pepe. Pepe, right. Pepe the frog. Um, yeah. And, you know, there, there was no harm meant by this meme, no. however. The, the, these Marxists, these leftists seem to dig for to be offended and and actually i have just received a letter from the commissioner to say that my posters for the 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 recent election i've just been through an election um and i've actually lost my seat sander um you lost your seat so do do you do you attribute the way you have been treated um and labeled and all of these things to why you possibly lost your seat well, I'll, I'll let your viewer, your listeners, be the the right. uh, judge of that because I was suspended for four months of my my, my term, um, coming up to an election. Um, the last month, um, uh, up to that election, I was actually suspended from my seat and could do nothing for my constituents. Wow. Um, I, I did still do bits and pieces throughout the community, but in terms of the council, I could do nothing. Um, so, so obviously, that is going to affect it. Of course, um, not only, of course. Not only that, and I know that um, your your listeners will um, sympathise with me on this one, um, but Facebook also. Um, 
basically uh, deplatformed wiped you. Me out, yeah. Wiped me out. Um, uh, and I mean, 10 accounts, over 130,000 um, followers. And I lost every single wow. account that I, I had access to. Um, and and really, you know, I know President Trump has has spoken out about this, and I'm so grateful for him doing so because there is no one else speaking out about this. But in the middle of an election campaign, two weeks into the election, my Facebook was I, I was completely deplatformed, um, and um, I I lost most of my constituents complaints my constituents messages all came through facebook it was my right. main way of con- connecting with people and um, they they deplatformed me and dis- disabled my account wow now let me ask you this is a side issue and we'll talk about this privately uh, do you have a website i do yes you i do uh, i'm on jewelingbunting.uk right and, and I, I'm in the middle of a revamp at the minute. I uh, have huge plans. Um, and uh, at the minute, we are putting those plans into action. And I'm really excited about the new ventures ahead of me. Brilliant. Obviously, I have, I have lost my council seat. Um, I've seen that as an opportunity. Um, there's no point in being defeated. Um, I've seen that as an opportunity not only to... To, to challenge Facebook and to challenge the, the commission and say, this is not right. You're, no. you're messing with democracy. Absolutely. Uh, I, I want to I sidestep for a minute. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, but, but, but we talked about this yesterday. And the fear for me and for many of us is that when we're categorized as being dangerous, how that affects us in the real world because are we do you think uh, and obviously we've, we've agreed that that we are we are anti-violence um but but do you think that, that that this is gonna lead to violence because people that are saying that because we hold certain views even though we're peaceable we're violent absolutely and i and i believe that it's it's the support and it's the people you're listening to our story and the people who who we can connect with are, are really starting to get angry um, um I, I know they're starting to get angry and i, I always say there's always um more way more more than one way to skin a cat i suppose the the old saying is um, yes but but there there is definitely um there's definitely more to this than than violence, and we right. must remain peaceful. We must. Um, that, the saying that we are being driven on the ground, and when when a, a group of people, a community who uh, have legitimate concerns, are driven on the ground, that is when you ha- start start having violence and criminal activity around that. And I don't want that. You don't want that. No. Um, However, it seems like the mainstream media and the leftist globalists seem to to want to drive us um, into criminality. Um, I always say, do not give them what they want. No. Um, and but there is a real potential here that people will feel the only way they are going to get be listened to is through violence. And, um, and the concern, you know, we we discussed this yesterday. Um, I, you know, obviously, I don't want to give too much about your situation, but I know you're you're a, you're a mom, um, and and obviously, I get that a lot of what you're doing is because you want to kind of protect the future for your kids. Um, but isn't it a scary world we living that live in when we're when we're um, designated as dangerous just for disagreeing? I mean, how does that make you feel? You know, I spoke to your kids yesterday. How does that make you feel as a, as a mother? It terrifies me. It, it absolutely terrifies me. Um, not only that we're being labelled uh, as dangerous, but the, the, that some patriots are actually being thrown into prison. Um, other patriots are, are being demonised in other ways. Uh, um, what terrifies me is that this is the only the start and this oh, it is, is. Only the beginning of, of demonizing patriots right um, um my, uh, my my children will 
be brought up to know that the, 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 the country they live in is one which should be great. And that they should they should fight to ensure that their 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 country, um, and when when I say fight, I mean go into politics, highlight the injustices. Right. Um, I don't I don't mean in the violence way, in in a violent way, but um, and of course, Sandra, we I have to clarify that which I shouldn't need. No, to. of course um, not. I, but we're I, all I having never, to do it. We're all having to clarify, and and you know it. When when I when I as an openly gay man, um, I, I have to um say that you know I'm not anti LGBT. When I say I don't want I don't want kids in school to be read story time by a drag queen, I have to clarify that I'm not homophobic, and that kind of bothers me. Uh, you know that they're now teaching. Um, we talked about this yesterday too. Where they're now teaching. Um, it, um, is it Arabic in schools? Um, and, and, and that scares the, the bejesus out of me. It really does. Yeah, it, it is absolutely terrifying. And um, what, what I believe the, 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 the Marxists and leftists and globalists have, are doing are they're trying to rot our children's minds. Um, they are trying to make the abnormal normal. Um, and I believe that there, we, we have already lost a whole generation who, who think that the abnormal is normal. Right. Um, and I just pray that my children, my, my oldest is six, my, my youngest is four, and I just pray that, that, that my children um, will know right from wrong, and that doesn't seem to be the case in a lot of children um, who, especially in universities and in some the schools, um, they are being taught that wrong is right, and yeah. right is wrong. It, it's scary, and surely as a parent, you know, I'm not a parent, but surely as a parent, you should have a say in, in what your children are taught over and above, you know, um, you know, reading and writing and et cetera, et cetera. You don't want social issues indoctrinated into your children um, because that, to me, is terrifying. Absolutely, and and if you do speak out, you are hit with the usual labels of fascist, racist, and and bigots. You know, and and that is not the case. It's no. simply about preser preserving my children's minds and and teaching my children right from wrong. Absolutely. Uh, now, I you know I, uh, I I've not met Jade or I don't know Jada Franson, but but I know that that she's she's at kind of at the very end stage of this. Dis disenfranchisement, deplatforming. Uh, you know, she's even served time in prison. And you know, this girl is a this girl. This lady is a Christian, and 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 the way she's been treated is um, abysmal. You know, what point do we actually get to stand up and say you got to stop this now? Absolutely, and you know, we in the UK, a lot of a lot of people around the UK will know Jada. Um, I'm sure a lot of your listeners will know her. Um, if you don't know her, have a, a have try, try to Google her name. Um, she has been so demonised. Um, it has been absolutely unbelievable the the pressure that this young lady is under, and as you say, she is a devout Christian. Yeah. Um, I, I'm quite grateful to her because she is such a strong person and she she keeps fighting even when she is being hit with constant bombardment and as you say, she was thrown in prison. She came out more determined than ever. Um, they have, they're now trying to, to throw her back in prison um, but but she, she is a very clever, very wise lady who is fighting them as hard as she possibly can, but it's extremely hard right. because you're fighting the elite. You, you absolutely are. And, and the concern is that, that you know, I, I thought this was bad two years ago when, when they took my Twitter account off, off me with 40,000 followers that I'd worked very hard to. But now it, 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 it's, it's a, a million times um, worse. We we are we are kind of. I, I could talk to you all day, but we are at the end of our time together. Um, I I know you're going to come back and speak to us again um, very soon. Um, I just shared your um, your website, and so when that's going to be back up, people I guess people can contact you no, via. It, it, it's still up and 
running. Um, at the at the minute, I have loads of plans. However, I am the you know the war chest is empty. I've just lost my my main source of income. So if if your listeners can afford to, I would love to have yes. them donate. And all my information will be on that website. Keep an eye on the website. Unfortunately, I don't have social media. Um, so keep an eye on the website and I'll keep you all up to date with with my case and with other things that are happening in Northern Ireland. Absolutely. Listen, thank you so much for your time um, and for being up at this ungodly hour. I will catch up with you in the real world very soon. Um, uh, thank you so much. Um, Councillor, I keep calling you Councillor because you're still Councillor to me. Um, Irish politician Jolene Bunting, thank you so much for your time. God bless, Andrew. Thank you. You too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.